building the bike here at Deus in, in Venice has definitely had a different vibe and a different feeling than, than building bikes at my shop. It's really just like there is that weight that you carry knowing, um, you know, there has been a lot of greatness built out of this shop. But at the same time, I'm super motivated to, to have the opportunity and, and be in a spot where, um, you know, hopefully I can add to that greatness that's come out of here. Attention to detail on things is, is something I always describe as, as such a blessing and a curse. You know, it's something that, that I developed and learned over time, like watching my dad from being a little kid. And everything he does, there's attention to detail, whether it's, you know, the smallest thing. He does everything 110% and it, it can't only be taught, it really has to be in your blood. You know, I have this standard that I hold for myself and everything needs to be done perfectly and, and done the right way from the way it's assembled to the way it's disassembled to, to even the tools I use and partnering with Snap-on has been the best threshold for that. Like they're the best tools and they're the only tools I'll, I'll ever use on these bikes. Every bike has a page in one of my notebooks and it starts from anything from parts list to expenses and then um, what you see is like as I'm building it I write down all the torque specs that, that I use, I, what's loctited, what's greased, what's not, what's set, what's to do, um, but mainly just something that I can go over when I do my once over at the end and make sure everything was, was put together correctly. Nothing was untouched, everything has basically been modified or swapped out in a sense. You know, some of the big things like, you know, we're using the Brembo, like factory works brakes that, um, you know, all the race teams use and uh, it's cool to use like a motocross brake and then put it on to a dual sport platform. So it's, it's kind of like the sense of in cars where they put an oversized brake kit and doing that to these bikes I feel like takes on that street side of what a dual sport is. So that's a big piece for me. Most of the bolts we switch out all for titanium bolts, so 
just finding all the the cool little trick tie tie bolts and and in the right places we'll we'll stick to some of the the stock bolts and in, in some load areas but a lot of titanium you know from skid plates to front rotor guard using some carbon fiber and I'll modify the skid plate and make it more the enduro skid plate the way it comes it's it's very like broad and like to guard a lot of the the engine cases so I'll slim it down and kind of make it look more as like a motocross skid plate would look those are all cool pieces titanium foot pegs and exhaust My advice to anyone that's like inspired by what I'm doing or that wants to like start building bikes is is really just find what what you like and, and really stick to what, what you feel like looks best and, and not necessarily try to do it for someone else but do it for you. I, I think in the beginning of building my bikes and they weren't necessarily accepted like black bikes and doing this style and but at the end of the day it it's what I like and it's what I stand behind and you can't really be told no or told you're wrong when it's something that you believe in.